Bot Insights is an Automation Anywhere enterprise analytics platform that provides real-time interactive dashboards about business processes and operational intelligence. Bot Insights leverages the large amount of content level and productivity data that the deployed bots generate, touch, interact with, and process. It presents the data captured by bots into meaningful, auto-generated, customizable dashboards. Bot Insights dashboards fall into two categories, operational analytics and business analytics. You can use operational analytics to monitor the performance of bots, the status of tasks, the schedule of tasks, audit information, utilization of resources, workload status, and the health of the machine on which the bots are running. Business analytics dashboards can illustrate the trends in the business data that bots come across. This could include total sales in a month, invoicing and payment trends, insight about new customers, or quote to order ratio. Bot creators can access the analytics dashboard for a task from both the enterprise client and the enterprise control room. Access to the dashboards depends on the user roles assigned to a user and the access permission granted to the users in those roles. So let's get going. Today, I will show you how to create a simple Bot Insights dashboard. The first step is to know where your data is coming from. I'm using a single CSV file so that the bot can loop through each row and collect the desired data. To do that, I'm going to use the CSV slash TXT open action. I've already placed the CSV file that I want to use in the control room, so I will point to that file here. Because the file contains a header row, I will indicate that with a checkbox, and we also know this is a comma delimited file. Here's what the data looks like again. It's important to identify which columns the values you want are in. Let's take note of the header names and column numbers so we can use them later. Note that column A is considered column 0 in Automation Anywhere. For example, we will capture unit price from column 3, and unit price is a numeric value. The next step is to create variables to store the values from the columns that we've identified. For time's sake, I've already created most of these variables. But let's create the unit price variable and assign it as a number type. It's also worth noting the variable name will be used in the dashboard. Normally we would assign a lowercase letter before a name to represent the variable type, but when reading the dashboard this may confuse the average business user, so in this case I would recommend disregarding that naming convention for variables used in this case. Now let's select the loop action and select the for each row in CSV slash TXT iterator. We will assign the current row to a new variable so we can reference it inside the loop. Now let's place the analyze open action within the loop. Using number and string assign actions, we can now pull data from the CSV file into variables. Based on the column number and name information we captured earlier, we can now assign specific values to the corresponding variables. Finally, let's add the analyze close action at the end of our loop. This is where we can choose the values we want to include in our Bot Insights dashboard. Now let's run the bot. As you can see, we now have the chance to review and analyze the data we just captured. Once we're happy with the dashboard, we can save it and make it available to anyone who needs to see it. We hope this simple example gives you a sense of how to use the Bot Insights dashboards to get more out of your bots. Have a great day and remember that with BP3 there's a faster way to do that.